Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. My name is Roland and today we'll be cooking sticky hoisin chicken wings. So let's start cooking. Now we are going to do some basic marinade on the chicken wings. I have with me over here five full wings which I've cut into half, drumlets and the other part. We will need crushed white pepper or white pepper powder. You can use black pepper if you want to. One tablespoon of Chinese rice wine. Add in also stems from two stalks of spring onion. I've crushed them a little bit just to get the juices out. Put it in. Two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of chicken powder. And one tablespoon of corn flour. If you want to omit out the Chinese rice wine, no problem, you can just omit it. Now we just need to mix this up well. And we are going to refrigerate this and let it marinate for 2 hours. Now if you want to marinate this overnight, no problem, you can do so too. But 2 hours is will be enough. I'll see you back in a while. While waiting for the oil to be hot, we will mix into the chicken wing 2 tablespoons of corn flour because we want to have a crispy coating. Use your hand and mix them up well. We are going to test whether the oil is hot enough or not. We have a bamboo chopstick and if you see bubbles rising up like this, that means the oil is hot enough. We will now start to fry the chicken wing. We are going to do double fry on the wings. For this first time round, we are just going to let it be a light golden brown. We are using medium heat for this. Do not overcrowd the pan, otherwise the temperature of the oil will drop down too much. Okay, to the other side, so that it will brown on both sides. One to two minutes more, we can take this out because we are doing a double fry. So this time around, we just want it to be done approximately 80% or so. Now make sure when you cook anything, make sure that the meat is actually at room temperature before you cook them. Now we just take this out, put this to rest and we will cook the second batch. We'll be doing a second fry on the wings. Now you can see a lot of bubbles rising up, that means there's still water inside here, that means the oil is not hot enough. Of course, another way you can do it is with a bamboo chopstick. So let's just wait for a while. As you can see, there's no more bubbles in the oil. So just to double confirm that it's hot enough, I'm using a bamboo chopstick again. Now you can see that the bubbles are rising up pretty rapidly. That means the oil is hot enough. We will do the double fry now. Now you can put everything in because they are partially cooked already. Now as you can see, there's a lot of bubbles rising up. That means this is full of moisture inside the chicken. We need the bubbles to go down. I can already feel that the chicken is crisping up already. I just need to fry them to a very nice golden brown. Do not reduce the heat at this moment because if you were to reduce the heat, the oil will get soaked inside the chicken and will be too greasy. Look at how beautiful the curry is. We will remove the chicken from the oil and we will prepare the sauce for this. Remember, don't turn off the flame because we don't want the oil to be lodged inside the chicken wings. Drumlets will take a little bit of time because the flesh is pretty thick. So I'm just giving them another about 30 seconds or so. Now we remove them. Beautiful crispy wings, but this is not done yet. We still need to do the sauce. Now we will do the sticky sauce. In a heater pan, add in a little bit of oil. 3 cloves of garlic chopped. Fry until fragrant. If you prefer your wings to be a little bit on the spicy side, you can always add a little bit of chopped chilli inside here too. But we want to make this dish very kid friendly. That's why I'm not adding in anything spicy. Now once you can smell this beautiful aroma of uh, garlic, we'll add in water. One third of a cup of water. One tablespoon of light soy sauce. One and a half tablespoon of hoisin sauce. And one and a half tablespoon of brown sugar. Melt them up together. We need this sauce to be sticky. That's why I need to slowly cook this and evaporate this a little bit. Can turn up the heat a little. 
Mr. Mugwell. This sauce will be very, very beautiful because it has all the beautiful taste of garlic plus the high hoisin sauce and it will be sweet and savory. This will be a party favorite. We're just going to make sure that the sauce is thick enough. Now, as you can see, it coats the back of a spoon easily. That means this sauce is done already. Now we'll add in the chicken wings. Put all the wings in. Now, normally I like to toss them around. Okay, once they are mixed up nicely, we'll turn off the heat. If you want, you can sprinkle some spring onions and sesame seed on top of it to make it look better and of course taste better. Now we'll serve this. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Very, very nice. Crispy, savory, sweet, everything we wanted. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our Sticky Hoisin Chicken Wings. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.